Hey everyone, Channel William Moore here, and today I went to MegaCon for the very first time in Orlando. If you guys do not know what MegaCon is, it is a convention that is um, very similar to San Diego Comic Con, New York Comic Con, which are much bigger. But MegaCon is a pretty big convention as well. Um, it's like basically those conventions I mentioned before. We have people that cosplay as like certain characters from the comics, anime, um, cartoons and whatnot. And I have seen a lot of cool stuff. Um, they also have hmm, some special uh, events there. Like they have like, I actually went to my very first convention because I've never been to any of the conventions before in my life until today. So it was a real treat to see um, what it's like there. So if you guys do not know, I was even able to attend a My Hero Academia panel um which was really cool they even had some uh anime jeopardy too which i even was part of too which was really fun as well uh but i know the event is currently still going on right now as of the time i'm recording this video but unfortunately i won't be able to attend you know for saturday and sunday due to me working as you guys know i am working a very busy job which is again why i haven't been uploading videos as much often um which i apologize again for but you know i still have other reviews that I've come around and you guys are still wondering am i still in a lego yes i am and there was lego sets also available too but some of them were a little overpriced i feel especially ones that were retired um there was a few i was playing i was like eh, should i get something related to lego i was like eh, never mind oh and also speaking of the my hero academia panel um i also do have a question i asked them that actually got recorded so i record it so if you guys want me to upload that recording if i upload when i upload this video let me know in the comments if you guys want to see the question i asked uh some of the voice actors of the my hero academia dub i know um suya's voice actress was there and so was uh what was it um deku's was there too um it was a really fun time there was a lot of laughs too but I probably will, I've recorded a bit of it, but I might only just post my question if you guys want to see uh, my question on it too. So it was just a fun time overall. Like I said, I bought a lot of stuff too. So as you can see here, I actually bought some, they had a shark robot um, booth there. So I, I bought some shirts. I bought about, I would say around like maybe 100 to $150 worth of stuff. But do keep in mind, though, that despite the fact that, you know, I spent that much money on just stuff from the convention, a lot of stuff can be just, you know, one of a kind, especially with certain artists that attend there. Uh, they have like special events or special artwork pieces that you can only get there. So it really was something, you know, I, I think was really cool to see now. I will also keep this in mind though, this video may be slightly not safe for work, I would say, um, because there are a few things I bought that might not be completely appropriate. Now, like I said before, if you guys have seen the unboxing and unpacking videos for the pins I had for Hasman Hotel and Hell of a Boss, this will be very similar to that. So there will be maybe some not safe for work stuff that I purchased. Again, it's not, complete borderline you know what um but it, again just giving you guys a little bit of the heads up on what i bought so there's also a shark so they had a shark robot booth there and you guys know i bought from shark robot that's how you got the hasman hotel of a boss pins now as of the time of this recording i ordered about a month ago uh, a few new pins along with two new shirts based on both hasman hotel and hell of a boss because shark robot is the official home for Vivzy's merchandise. Um, I still have not gotten those yet. I know they're going to take a little while to, um, you know, print and whatnot. So hopefully I will get them very soon though. Uh, I really, really want my shirts very soon. Um, it's just like we're waiting for the eighth episode. Okay, I've been rambling enough. So without further ado, let's show you what I got. So first and foremost, I got some shirts. The first of which I got, again, from Shark Robot. I bought three shirts. And the first one is this really awesome Evolutions shirt right here, which you can see has Eevee, Jolteon, Umbreon, Glaceon, Flareon, Sylveon, uh, Leafeon, 
Viporeon and Espeon. I really, really love that. Um, I thought that was really cool. And then I also bought a Cowboy Bebop shirt. If you guys know the anime Cowboy Bebop, Space Cowboys Hunting Days. So it's done in the style of the Gorillas album Demon Days, which I think is really nice to see. Again, this is a shirt. And I'm still waiting for those shirts. And then the last shirt I bought from them was this My Hero Academia one. I think it looks really neat. So I think it looks really cool. But like I said, that wasn't the only thing I bought from the booth because I also got... They also had, speaking of Hasbro Hotel and Hell of a Boss, they had this year's playmats uh, for Valentine's Day. So they had um, nine of the ten. Again, um, like I said before, they had nine of the ten there. The only one I didn't have was Verasica, which I was all sad about. The only ones I didn't get, so here's where I'll show you guys what I bought. So... The first one, I got Princess of Hell herself. I got Charlie Morningstar. And what's really interesting is, again, these are the uh, 2022 Valentine's Day uh, playmats. Uh, they are a little different quality uh, compared to the, um, the first print run. So there's that, too. And then here we got Cherry Bomb, also from Hasman Hotel. I know. Like I said before, I said slightly not safe for work. I actually just went nuts on this. And what's really cool is the person who was actually selling these to me was actually, these were they were 10 bucks each. And that was really cool to see. But what happened was he saw my enthusiasm and he was like, I'll give you these for five bucks. And I got them for five bucks instead, which is really cool. And of course we have Hell of a Boss's very own Luna here. Very happy about it. Again, the quality is still very good. It's very different compared to the first print run uh, for Valentine's Day. And then we have here Millie from Hell of a Boss as well. Again, just really went... I don't even know if I'm going to use the playmats, which is another thing too. Um, there were actually 10 of them uh, in total I know made. And then we have one that a lot of people will love, Sally Mays, also from Hell of a Boss. And then, that's just the blinds. We also have Hasbro Hotel's very own overlord here, Velvet. Again, the quality is still pretty good. And then, finally, I got the one... There was only one of these when I was there. Vaggy, which is really cool to see. Again, also from Hasbro Hotel. So these were seven of the ten... Uh, designs. They also had an Angel Dust one and also Luna in her human form, but I was like, I don't really want them. I mean, I do love Luna's human form, but um, but basically, um, I do love you Luna's human form, but I always prefer a Hellhound form. And then Angel Dust, I do love Angel Dust, but he's not a character I sim for, okay? But I do love him. Um, so the only one I didn't have was Verasica, but it was still great to see, you know, pretty much all that there so I was very very happy about it so just overall looks great <laughs> we're going to show you more that's not all i bought so again there might be a little bit more not safe for work here i also bought a hat and if you guys probably know one piece this is straw hat luffy's hat yep that was a custom made one again these were like 25 bucks like i said i spent a good amount of money at, at, at megacon this year it was the first time i did because again and I can't stress this enough. There was just, you know, a lot over there. And then, then I also have bought some Disney pins. They also had official Disney pins at the store. So we got this Donald Duck one here. And this is like a Splash Mountain-esque one. So if you guys actually don't know, I'm also looking for merch related to Splash Mountain. Because I don't know if you guys know... Disney is eventually retheming Splash Mountain to a Princess and the Frog attraction. So I have a lot of what you guys know on that. And I also bought a... And these are actually genuine pins. So, by the way, that I was able to buy. And here is one with Cyan Am from Lady and the Tramp. Um, again. And then I have a Venomation one with Gadget from Chip and Nail Rescue Rangers. So I was able to get that, too. And that's not all I bought. I also bought... Here's a... What else did I buy? 
Oh yeah, so here's gonna be a little bit more, not safe for work, slightly. Um, I also bought seven stickers. Or actually, no wait, um, I'll show you guys those in a second. I also bought a few uh, prints uh, from an artist. Again, a lot of these were special made and that's what makes Megacon so special. So a uh, shout out to the artist who made these. I forget the name. I'm sorry if I did, but it was a Disney artist. So here is one with um, Hercules arm wrestling with uh, Luisa from Encanto. I think that's really hilarious. And then here we have um, Sally, Anna, or Anna, and Elsa from um, Frozen. Well, of course, Sally's from Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, dressed up as Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn, respectively, and Sally's dressed like one of the uh, cast members for Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. I really, really love that. Just a really cool design. And then finally, we have also uh, Jasmine uh, from Aladdin in a Slave Leia outfit. And that's not all. I still have a few more things. So I got also, this is, okay, this is going to be a little bit uh, not safe for work. But these are also stickers I bought too. So I also, these are going to be a little bit not safe for work. But like I said, just slightly. So I also bought some more stickers of Anime Girls. You guys know me. So I got Lucy and Urza uh, from Fairy Tail, which I think was really cool to see. Uh, they were about like eight bucks each. But I got seven of them. Um... But that's not all I got. So I also have, as well, let me see. Um, hang on. We, we also have some Demon Slayer as well. I got Shinobu right here, as well as Nezuko. Again, a little not safe for work. But I want to make this a channel for everything. And then I also have Nami from One Piece, as well. And then I also got... As Death from A Cow Mega Kill. You guys probably know about my love for anime as well. And finally, we got Mikasa from Attack on Titan. I was going to get an ace sticker with uh, Hinaba from Fire Force, but unfortunately, that one was sold out. I was like, ah. So I was like, that's all right. And finally, here's what else I bought too. I bought a few other things as well. So overall, here are the last few things. I also bought some pins here with Callie and Marie from, or sorry, Callie and Marie from Splatoon 2. Or something that's the first Splatoon. They did appear in Splatoon 2 as well, which is really cool. And finally, I also got one of Pearl and Marina from Splatoon 2. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that is definitely something. So, yeah, pretty much, honestly, I did a lot of good stuff here. Again, got some... Nifty new shirts here. Again, just once more, I already showed you guys a lot of anime stuff, you know. <laughs> Got a lot of play mats, even though I probably won't use them. I just love the design so much. Again, very different from what we had before. Um, if anyone has any of the play mats from Valentine's Day for Hazard Hotel or Hell of a Boss, please let me know in the comments. Are they, what kind of quality are they and how do they feel? Because these ones feel like a mouse pad. Because um, I know they said that the quality on them was a lot different. So keep that in mind as you may. Um, but overall, I, I really do adore the quality of them. I got seven of them. Seven play mats. And I got them for five bucks each, which was really cool. They normally were ten bucks there. Because I know, like, when they first came out, they were about, like, thirty bucks each. But now they were, like, ten bucks. So I guess it was, like, you know, just some stock there. I really wish they had a Veroska one. But I was like, eh, it's all right. I got a Veroska pin. I did at least get a Sally May, um... Uh, play mat though because considering her pin was the first valentine's day one to sell on shark robot but yeah overall i really had a great time got a lot of good stuff like i said I, I as you mentioned by the video a little bit not safe for work but you guys know me <laughs> still like i said i'm not called the channel like i'm more for nothing I, I know i haven't been posting videos a lot but you know honestly I really appreciate you guys, you know, sticking around and even subscribing to me when I haven't just been around. Again, I've just been working and it's just very hard for me to, you know, have everything up and ready, basically, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, let me guys know what you guys think. And let me guys know if you also want to see that question I asked for My Hero Academia because it, it's uh, got some laughs, too. 
Um, but regardless, though, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And, um, you know, like I said, I might not make as much videos, but, you know, I'll still make them on occasion. It's just really a matter of time for me because, again, work has been a big one as well. Uh, plus, I also have, as, as of the time of recording this, my mother's going to be moving in with me for a few weeks. So she's getting a little closer, um, a job up here. So there's that, too. So I'm going to keep that as you guys may, too. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about my polls. And thank you guys for watching. Again, um, 